Hello, third and second grade students. It is great to see you on this lovely Friday afternoon. I'm sure it's the middle of the week for you guys. Um, so um, I wanted to make sure that we recorded our weekly lesson for week two, I'm sorry, week four of our uh, music uh, lesson series. This week on week four, I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to be able to submit your assignment. So I'm going to do that first before anything else. I hope everybody's had a really great week, and I really hope everybody is doing very well. I'm going to turn on my timer because I forgot to do that. Let me do that real quick. I don't know why I've been forgetting my timers, but if I don't turn it on, then it's not going to be a great video. Okay, here we go. All right, so friends, today uh, we're looking at first, second grade, so if you're a third grader, you're very welcome to skip this part if you want. Um, right here, I'm going to go through the assignment for what a second grader is supposed to do this week. You have the same assignment as you did last time. Your assignment is to create a four beat pattern that includes rest, a really big unit on Practicing ta, practicing tt, and practicing rest has had us do a lot of different rhythm writing. What I found out this week is you can actually take the note bank and drag it over to help you make the notes. It's okay if you want to draw them. I prefer to draw them like a composer. So I'm going to select this tool right here. I don't know what color you guys want, but I'm going to do purple because I always do second grade in purple. I'm going to put what right here, one note head, because it says draw your rhythm here. So I'm going to put that right there. Um, my rhythm is going to be ta, ta, rest, ta. And so let's try to write that down. Oh, actually, that's my example. Let's do something else. Ta, t, t, rest, ta. So let's see if we could do that. One, next note is, that's right, TT. And then the next one is a rest, so I'm going to put this. It's not the best one. Um, if you would like to do yours uh, in pen, maybe this will work better. Yep, that works definitely better. Um, so ta, TT, rest, ta. And so I have all of those together now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the stems and you remember tt is always connected by a beam so i'm going to draw a beam right here and that right there is my assignment um, you're also very welcome to do this if you'd rather take a shortcut from writing it down this is totally okay i just like to write it it's just i'm used that's what i'm used to so you could go like this ta you can copy or I'll show you how you do that. You can actually duplicate like that, or you could select copy and paste. This one goes at the end. And see, I'm not super good with computers. This is why I'd rather draw it. This is duplicate right here. This is du duplicate again. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's ta, t, t, rest. Tom, if you're better at doing that, by all means, please do that. Because it's just, it's so much better if you um, do it whichever way you're most comfortable with. But that's your assignment. You would click the check mark to submit your assignment. Got it? And you could do whatever rhythm you wanted to. Don't copy my rhythm. Do a rhythm that's original to you. Make sure it includes a quarter rest on it. I know it's the same one. Try to do a rhythm that's different this week. I made this one on purpose to be the same because this assignment is <clears throat> our checkpoint for learning. And our checkpoint tells me as your music teacher, if you've been doing your lessons, if you understand what a rest is, if you understand how to draw it, if you understand how to make and create a rhythm pattern. So please be sure you submit an assignment this week if you can. It's very, very important. Thank you, second graders. I'm going to move on to the third grade assignment. So third graders, please watch this part. All right, this is the third grade assignment. 
The third grade assignment is to make a rhythm using half note. Half note is the rhythmic pattern that we've been working on, which has how many beats? Okay. We're going to make a rhythmic pattern, and I gave you from your note bank, you can use ta, ti, ti, and two. I'm going to make my rhythmic pattern four beats long because that's the way I want mine to look like. So, I'm oh, the lights went off. Sorry, I got to turn them back on. All right. Lights are back on. Sorry about that. Um, we now are going to uh, make the same rhythm pattern. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, use two. When we use two, uh, we're going to be um, using it. I'm going to be using it to make a four beat pattern. So my pattern is two, ta, ta. You're going to keep it super simple. You could make it complicated. You could do t t t t two if you wanted to, but I'm going to do two, ta, ta. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so. If a two is two beats, then I'm going to put this here. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You could do this. Um, the way I did that was I went like that. I hit duplicate. Um, I used the control, uh, control C and control V for copy and paste. But you could hit duplicate. It's much, much easier to do. Um, you could do duplicate right here. And you could do duplicate right here again. I'm getting better at this. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write it in blue and I'm going to draw it because I like to draw it too sometimes. When I draw a half note, I like to use the highlighter tool. So I'm going to use this one right here because that has a hollow note head just like a half note. Okay, this one right here, I'm going to use the same thing, but I'm going to use just regular note heads like that. All right, so now I'm going to use this tool to draw the stems. And there we go. We're ready to submit the assignment. What you would do is you would press the check mark to submit the assignment. If you have any questions about this, um, I try to make our assignments as easy as possible. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to send me an email. It's really important that you submit an assignment because this is our checkpoint week. And in our checkpoint week, I'm just checking in with you to see if you have your understanding of our concepts, if you've understood what a half note is, you understood how many beats it has, you know how to draw one, all that good stuff. Give me a thumbs up if you understand. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here, and we're going to start our warm-up. So everybody watches this part. Everybody watches this part. All right, so um, we're going to start first with just a very quick warm-up. I'm going to take you over to the piano. I apologize for my crazy hair. Uh, my hair's been getting crazier every week. And if you, if you probably know this, probably by the end of the year, my hair will just be a huge giant poop. Okay, here it is. We're doing um, just a scale. Actually, just do me, so me, do. That's what we're doing. Right? If you're standing, same thing. Have a very straight back, tall posture. Here we go. saying too much information, but what you need to do 
is you need to echo me. I'm going to start with so. So, so, me, so, so, me, ready, your turn, here you go. So, so, la, la, so, so, me. So, so, me, me, so, so, me. So, so, la, la, so, so, lu. If you're a third grader, you might be like, wait, I know what that last note is. I'm keeping it a secret for my second graders. So we'll be learning that note in the coming weeks. I wanted to tell you, though, or I wanted to ask you, what song was that? That song was called... Apple tree. Okay, so another mystery song. Let's do the solfege for it. So so me, so so me, your turn. So so me, me, so so me. So so me, me, so so me. Me 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 so me. to hear we said because that's a song I feel like we just haven't sang a lot this year. Let's do here we said. Here we sit in the ring. Close your eyes now while we sing. One of us will go and hide. Guess who made that space so wide? Here we sit in the ring. Close your eyes now while we sing. One of us will go and hide. Guess who made that space so wide? All right, friends, thanks for singing along with me. Um, let's do one more song before we uh, start our warm-up. Uh, snail, Snail, I know we haven't sung this a lot. It's okay that we haven't. This song is not in our main curriculum or main repertoire, but I do like it. It's a nice one. Let's sing it one time. Snail, 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 go around and round and round so me so me so so me me so so me all right now that we've finished that one i want to do some of the solfage to some of the other songs so i'm going to scroll down a little bit we did here we sit um do the solfage for me actually do the rhythm t t ta t t ta oh you know what this is a great opportunity to talk about something um i'm gonna stand up for a second um, I want you, if you are one of my connected learners, to take a look at these, um, this instrument. This instrument is called drumsticks or rhythm sticks. Um, these are actually really easy to get a hold of. If you're learning at home, I want to give you a big tip. Might be a really great idea to go to Guitar Center, that's where I got these from, and purchase some of these ones if you can. Um, these are about... 10 to 15 dollars depending on what you buy i bought mine and i'll show them to you what they look like i bought mine without a brand i mean they don't have a brand they're just generic ones they have a pretty good sound when i hit them together i like their sound when i hit them against other objects like a chair they work just fine so if you have a dedicated space to music or just a dedicated object that you can kind of hit and it's okay if it gets a little bit of dense or something at home. And it's not a big deal that you hit some of these ones. It's a great one for doing rhythms. Um, let's do the rhythm and I'll show you what it sounds like on my rhythm sticks, um, that way on my drumsticks, that way you can hear that. Especially it would be really awesome if you have drums at home, but it's okay if you don't. I don't, I don't have drums right now. I mean, I do at school. But I just want to show what it's like whenever you don't have any. Um, so let's do Here We Sit. I'm going to do it on this wonderful chair that you see right here. 
I'm gonna do it at the top of, of the chair. This chair is very durable. It's lasted me a long time. And when you're holding these, remember, it's kind of like riding a bicycle. You need to relax hands like this, so that way they can go fast, and you need your elbows out a little bit. So here we go. Here we sit in a ring. Close your eyes now while we sing. One of us will go and hide. Guess who made that space so wide? Here we go. I'm going to do that just without saying anything, just with my rhythm sticks, and just hear how lovely this sounds. Ready? It's a really great addition and just makes learning at home a little bit more fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next one, and since we're on a uh, roll here with some of these rhythms, let's try this one with the rhythm since we've done some of the solfege already. Ready? Here we go. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, ti, 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 ta, ti, 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 ta. All right, let's do the solfege, and a bit of a challenge for you. Um, if you don't have your rhythm sticks, that's fine. You can still make sounds with clapping, patting, or doing all sorts of different uh, things. You can even snap. So let's try that. And I'm going to bring my uh, apple. That way we have that for apple tree. Some of y'all haven't seen the teacher's apple this year, so I just wanted to show it to you. That way we have it right here for us, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, I want to put it in a visible place so you can see it a little bit more. No, that's not going to stay. Well, you know what? I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to lift it up at the end of the song. I'm going to put it on chair. All right, here we go. Ready? Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apples knock me out. So, so me, so, so me, so, so la la, so, so me. So, so, me, me, so, so, me, so, so, la, la, so, so, lu. And second graders, start thinking about whether that lu sounds higher or lower than me. Um, let's do this next one. I'll do, I'll switch over to my rhythm sticks and uh, let's just do some of the rhythm right there. If you have an ocarina, switch over to your ocarina. Here we go. Faster, ready, go. All right, not bad. Thank you so much for following along. If you're tapping on your desk, thank you, thank you very much. Um, let's go over King's Land because that's another song we're going to do together. Ready? Here we say the words first to learn the rhythm. Here we go. I'm on the King's and the King is not at home. He's gone to Boston to buy his wife a comb. Ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta. Rest. Ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta. Rest. Let's try that same thing. I just want you to say it, and you're gonna clap it or tap it somewhere on your body. Ready? Ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta. Rest. Ta ti ti ta. T, 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 top. All right, so let's try it with the rhythm sticks one more time. So I'm not saying uh, you're going to tap it somewhere, and we're not going to say the rhythm solos. We're just going to read it. One more time. All right, let's try that one more time, this time a little faster. Here we go. <laughs> I added one extra at the end. All right, so um, how about we sing the solfege hand signs this time? 
So, so, la, so, me. I'm gonna go a little slower, sorry. Here you go. So, so, la, so, me, me, so, 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 la, so. So, so, la, so, me, me, so, 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 mystery note. So, so, la, so, me, me, so, 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 la, so. So, so, la, so, me, me, so, 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 mystery note. All right, let's go through now um, some other songs we haven't gotten a chance to go through. Um, let me see. On my weekly notes, I have here we sit. I'm not here we sit. Who's that tapping at the window? Let's, um, and I hope you had fun doing who's that tapping at the window this week because it took me a long time to make that, but I hope it was fun for y'all. Ready? If you're a third grader, this one's to practice half note. Here we go. Who's that tapping at the window? Who's that knocking on the door? I am tapping at the window. I am knocking on the door. Who's that tapping at the window? Who's that knocking on the door? I am tapping at the window. I am knocking on the door. All right, thank you for doing that song with me. This is the next one. Oh, this is the ocarina notes, in case you want to know what they sound like. We'll be posting stuff on ocarina very soon. <clears throat> third, second and third grade students, I really did leave uh, or send an email home this uh, past Friday, or I sent it today. I'm really recording it the same day I sent it to you. But you're probably going to watch this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of uh, the following week. Um, I wanted to tell you that I sent an email about ocarinas. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about them at the end. So please watch this video until the very end. That way you know more about how ocarinas are going to work this year. All right, let's do Rocky Mountain. Ready? Here we go. We're going to, uh, oh, remember, we were learning this one last time. So let's keep echoing some of these uh, words. That way we know what they are. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that rocky mountain, hold your head up high. It's a good one for posture, because when we're singing, we gotta hold our head up high, but at the same time, we can't be pushing our chins like this. We gotta put our chins down to the ground. Ready? Rocky mountain, rocky mountain, rocky mountain high. When you're on that rocky mountain, hold your head up high. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Sunny valley, sunny valley, sunny valley low. When you're on that sunny valley, sing it soft and slow. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do. Do remember me. Stormy ocean, stormy ocean, stormy ocean wide. When you're on that stormy ocean, there's no place to hide. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Okay. So let me take you through a little bit of the dynamic levels I just showed you in that performance. Um, if you're reading along with the words, I showed you and shared with you the entire song. Verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. Verse 1 was all about a rocky mountain um, and holding up your head up high. Um, verse 2 was all about Sunny Valley and singing things nice and soft and slow. What's another word for soft or for, uh, yeah, for soft? If you guess the word piano, you are correct. In music, we say the word piano to mean soft as well. Stormy Ocean, was that soft? No. I try to make as much noise as possible while I was singing that song because that song is forte. 
Forte means loud in music. All right, so uh, let's go through this one a little bit. I want you to try to sing the Rocky Mountain verse normal, the Stormy Valley, sorry, Sunny Valley verse a little bit softer, the Stormy Ocean uh, one a little louder, okay? Keep in mind those dynamic levels. That way your verses sound a little different. I'm going to take you, um, I don't know, I hope you can still see the piano. Okay, from here. Kind of going to just leave it there so you can see it. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Oh, that's the best angle I've gotten so far. <laughs> I think I'm just going to start using this from now on. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hold your head up high. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Sing it soft and slow. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Stormy ocean, stormy ocean, stormy ocean. Why? When you're on that stormy ocean, there's no place to hide. Do, 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 do. had fun singing with me today. Um, we're working on it. Um, and all of these songs are the songs we would sing in music class. Um, I'm trying to make it as fun as possible. And that way you'll get a lot of practice singing. Um, I'm really hoping that you enjoyed today's lesson and can't wait to see you for next week's lesson next week. Um, like I said, um, find some time this week to see if you can practice your rhythms. Find, uh, be sure you do your seesaw assignment this week, please, because that's my checkpoint for you to see if you're um, learning and you're finding what we're finding in music class two. Um, find some time this week to just try to sing, make it a little bit fun. Um, and also, if you do have some sort of drumsticks at home, that would also be something that can make your experience in music a little bit more fun. All right, guys, um, I'm signing out. Really appreciate all my second and third grade students, and we will see you next week, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into music. We'll see you soon. Stay musical.